Kelly, good afternoon. Thank you so much for entering. Uh, Kelly, do you want to talk to us a bit about your entry and what was in your what was in your head when you were drafting this? Uh, yes, thank you so much. I'm really happy to be here. Um, I'm really excited that you all put this contest together. Um, so for these questions, I was really focusing on um, how important storytelling can be and giving people the opportunity to share their experiences and views of the world. And I really think that can be a powerful tool in thinking about interview questions. Um, and I really tried to focus on my first question, asking them to tell a story of what it looks like and means to them to receive care. And I tried to open up the way of thinking about that beyond a healthcare setting. So people are really expansive in their thinking about what care looks and means means to them. And the second question, I focused on kind of how, where, and why they found humor um, in their careers in healthcare and studying to be in healthcare. Because um, I really think that humor is such a big and important part of being able to navigate complex systems and long careers. Um, and so I hope that kind of question can help uh, tell people tell a story of how they see the world and relate to others. And then my last question involves imagination. So they can tell the story of what they kind of hope for, um, and particularly if it's situated in a space, so they can kind of describe it in both tangible ways and symbolically. Um, so I thought that could give people a range of ways to explain um, what matters to them. And overall, my uh, questions are just really designed to bring about stories where people um, felt connections to others, because I think understanding how people uh, make connections to others is a really a key component of how they are able to offer thoughtful care. So I happened to find out about this via a tweet, and I'm so glad that I got here. I'm one of the people that's in the sea in the image. So thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, Kelly, people might guess that you're not from one of the, um, well, not from within inner London anyway. Uh, Kelly, do you want to just talk a little bit about your background and how that relates to some of the questions? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, so I have a background in um, health psychology, public health, and human-centered design. And I've worked in a variety of different settings where I've done a lot of qualitative and participatory research with um, patients, healthcare providers, caretakers, um, uh, both in uh, digital health and then other broader uh, public health systems. And so a lot of my work is getting to hear people's stories. So when it was the idea was an interview question, I thought, oh, that's what I do all the time. <laughs> and so it was a really fun opportunity to think about, hey, how could we revisit and think about the interview process for uh, becoming a healthcare provider? So I got to use my background to think through these questions. Right, so have you road tested any of these, Kelly? Have you, have you tried them out? And uh, what responses did you get if so? I haven't tried them out, but I'm actually really curious to try the one where people describe the space because um, I think people have a it can be easier sometimes to describe and point out spaces or even if they drew it out. I just think there's a lot of ways you can kind of get and learn from people when they're thinking about new spaces that they would want to create um, and what that means to them. So that's the one I'm most excited to try out. Lovely, thank you. Um, uh, I, 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 again, the temptation to extend this meeting to one which is several hours and we each uh, answer these questions is quite high. Uh, Kelly, thank you very much.